Oh joy of joys, we're out again! <laughs> Pure test ride in about an hour and a half. I've still not had my cup of coffee. We are on this. <laughs> this is an echo. Oh, great little scoots these. So 50cc echo, 30 mile an hour bike. And uh, we're going to be puddling around like the proverbial. Rip the front wide open and just get up the speed. Let's see what we can do. Look, here we go, here we go. 30! Hooray, we're there! <laughs> I love 50cc bikes. This is great fun. You could have so much fun on a 50. If you're only 16, most of the kids are going, oh yeah, but how can you do restrict it? How can I get an extra four or five mile an hour? You can't. Your legal limit is 30 mile an hour. Now, let's be serious for five minutes if I can. Without, without grinning like a loon, I love little 50cc bikes. Great for ripping around town. Great for poddling to work and back if you can't afford anything and you just want something to poddle off to work or go to school, go to college. 50cc Echo or one of the little geared ones is great for you. Hence why we're just going to stick around town on this and have a little bit of fun. But around town it will keep up with the flow of traffic. It will do 30 and it will get you there. Now, how to get one of these to 30 mile an hour takes you around about 10 seconds. Yes, they are 10 inch wheels on the standard Echo, 12 on the Echo Plus. <coughs> and I've still got this horrible cough. But, under and God knows what to the gallon, they are super economical, easy to maintain, easy to service. All the parts are as cheap as chips and it doesn't matter if it's a Lex Motor or any other brand. A 50cc bike is great fun to have. And of course everyone goes, yeah, my, uh, my lad wants one, my lad wants one, or my daughter wants one. They're a great little starter bike just to get you used to being on a motorcycle. The only thing is, obviously 30 mile an hour, you've got to watch out for those cagers. And if you're wondering what a cager is, a cager is a person in a car. And you have to watch people coming on to roundabouts like him comes flying into the roundabout and then breaks at the last minute. So you've got to be a little bit more aware on a 50cc. It will do the job though. And then obviously, speed bumps. Yeah, great fun. Or you can obviously scoot up the inside of the speed bump apart from when it's right across the road like that one but suspension on this is great noddy nod nod right down the middle there we go you can scoot over the speed bump something that cars can't do and the one thing is obviously on the 50 around town you can filter you can get down that line of parked cars and scoot between them So job is a good one. I think these little 50ccs are absolutely amazing. You can have so much fun just puddling from A to B, scooting around as they say. Now with the Echo you've got a nice decent rack on the back of this, which means you can fit a top box on there. So. 32, 42 litres top box on there. If you really want it, I suppose you can stick your delivery box on there. But you want to carry more than a couple of pizzas because it will be obviously popping wheelies going down the road. But it's thin and narrow enough to filter through the traffic. It will get around town. Brakes on it are great. You've got a drum brake on the uh, rear, disc on the front. And I like a good old drum brake. But, like I say, they do sound like an air dryer. But, great for puddling around the town. And the only 
thing is obviously you should keep an eye on your mirrors and that and just watch out for the cages. But 30 is all it will do. So obviously if you're on dual carriage right now, Milton Keynes is I would say 90% dual carriageway and most of the dual carriageways around Milton Keynes are 60 mile an hour. Well, it'll probably be the same way you are if you happen to be in one of the big towns like London, Birmingham and that. Well, right, London, you're not going to get much <laughs> over 30 going around London, in uh, inner London. But obviously on the outer roads, yeah. But everything here is 60 mile an hour, so 30 mile an hour, you have got to keep your wits about you. And everyone's like, yeah, but don't go on the dual carriageways, go on the A roads. Every single road in Milton Keynes is a dual carriageway and it's always got a roundabout at the end of it. So, just keep your eye on the mirror. You're just going to have to be a little bit more spatially aware. <clears throat> and that's where a lot of people panic and parents go, oh, I don't really want my son or daughter on a bike. It's fine. I have been riding these little 50ccs up and down dual carriageways, test riding up and down dual carriageways at 45 mile an hour. There is a second lane over there. Let them use it. If a car wants to get past, he will overtake. But it's obviously just watching out for the ones that come flying up behind you and are a little bit too close for the old comfort. But you can literally throw these into corners. Job done. I can hear an alarm going off. <laughs> I've got my phone in my overall pocket under my jacket and yes I've got my tray plate on this morning as well because obviously none of the bikes are registered or taxed at the moment hence why I tend to run with my tray plate on the back. Just keeps us legally covered. But that alarm is telling me it's quarter past eight. RB it's coffee and smoke time not yet it ain't. We've got a couple more test rides to do yet. <clears throat> so that alarm will shut up in a minute. But 30 mile an hour is great fun. Now the subject slightly if you're into 50 cc's I am out on the Maverick soon talk to me goose yeah we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that so we're gonna be trying out the new bike from WK having a little bit of a run on that but this thing is a great little bit of fun it really does the job right we're going back around town again we have Nearly 6k on the bike. The speedo on this is in K. So you've got uh, Ks around the outside, miles an hour on the inside. But the actual speedo odometer reads in kilometres. Yes, I know, it's confusing. Some bikes read in miles, some read in K. This reads in K. Display is very easy to see. What I would normally say to everybody, do the normal Tipex thing on the screen. But 30 mile an hour, you're not going to break any speed limit, so just don't even bother looking down. <coughs> so, yeah, 30 mile an hour. And probably, if I was to put my GPS on this, I'd probably be doing about 26, 27. These are 28 mile an hour, is the maximum permitted for the age of 16. That alarm will stop in a minute, and I can't be bothered to reach inside my jacket and turn it off. There we go. Press the cancel button on the side of the phone, that does the job. Go ticking over, everything on the screen that you need, left and right indicators, main beam and an engine management light, that is it, simplistic. Fuel tank is there, all good to go. Come on lights, let's have some movement. Cool. 
Oh, wait a bit long for these lights. Right, let's go, people. <coughs> We are away, 30 miles an hour, <laughs> no more, no less. The best thing is obviously you can open this thing up and just through roundabouts <laughs> by an hour. Uh, grip it, rip it. Oh, twist it, grip it and rev bomb as they say. <coughs> now there are other ways obviously of de-restricting these. Believe it or not, you can put a bigger variator kit or change the clutch up. That is one way to do it, but I would say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just leave it alone. If you want to go faster, have this for the first year and get yourself a 125. <coughs> but for looks, scooter-wise I would say Echo, or WK do a good one called the GT Max, we're out on that soon, or if you're going to geared, there is nothing from Lexmoto in a geared bike. The only thing they have is obviously the Echoes, or the Electrics, the Cypher. Which is also a twist and go. But if you're after a geared bike, check out my WK Colt. That thing is amazing. WK Colt is a great little bike and I've taken that out twice now and I've giggled both times. They are also doing now the Scrambler 50 which is basically a copy of the uh, Scrambler 125 that WK do, but there's now a 50cc version. Ooh, he says. Ooh. Check that one out. We shall. But for hacking around, little 30 mile an hour scoop, the Echo does the job. Right, once to the bottom, back down the other side, rack up the uh, the 10 on this. And then I can go back and have a cup of coffee. Hooray! Now, leg-wise, so, for everybody that's wondering, what does a hobby look like on a 50cc? <laughs> Oh god, I'll tell you what, you might as well fit me on a mini moto. Look at that, I've got leg room, I've got leg room, yes! I punched over it like a proverbial, but I did try this here a couple of weeks ago, I can actually go to the back seat, <laughs> I'm on the back seat now, I'm on the passenger seat, yeah, so you can sit back onto the passenger seat, but Best to be in the rider's seat. Uh, Arby's having a blast. There's nothing like being out all day just riding a bike. And uh, that is what we'll be doing this coming Sunday. I am going out for a ride with my old mucker Peaky. Yep. Me and Peaks are going to Super Sausage for breakfast, cross the gasoline juice, and then we are going for a nice long ride together. Going to have a look at some of the uh, British countryside. And I do enjoy riding with old Peaky, he's a great old character. And me and him just seem to seem to gel, whether it's the old army days, or <laughs> just because we've both been there, done it, had the t shirt. But Peaks is. Uh, He's very, very good company. Now I do hang out with a lot of the uh, the riders, obviously Andy and Simon and Red and Rhythmic and that, and Phil and... There's just something about being out with Peaky. It's like, yeah, we had a blast last time and we're looking forward to doing it again this Sunday. So keep an eye out for that video, that's going to be interesting. 
We're back at the garage. The third test ride down. Two more to go, I think. <coughs> He's got more lined on the yard for me. We'll see how many more we've got left. So what have I got left out the front? Another two. Well done. Right, so job done. Echo's finished. We're out on an LXR again next. So until the next time, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.